good morning from day 59. Obviously survived the night. The smoke has cleared up amazingly well overnight, but from what I hear, it's because it settles down in the valleys overnight. Um, kind of as anticipated. Nothing changed overnight with the PCTA. Um, and the trail is still closed. Really pretty view though. Um, the trail is still closed, although I don't anticipate that officially changing from the PCTA anytime soon because there's a fire a couple hundred miles north that was much smaller and is fully contained and no evacuation or anything like that still present and the PCTA still hasn't updated the 30 mile closure on their website um, but anyways when we left town yesterday the park fire was at 175,000 acres all this is at 0% contained when we got to camp it was at 300 or not 300 it jumped from 175 to 225,000 acres and waking up this morning it's at like 305 or 310,000 acres so it is still spreading um i don't think i mentioned this but the worst part about all of this is that this fire started because of an arson who intentionally lit a car on fire and pushed it into the forest for the purpose of starting a fire. Um, so it's horrible to think about that. Those kind of people exist that can s cause so much damage to people's lives, the forest, the animals, everything like that. Um, but anyways, I know who did it. He's gonna face the consequences, but we are hiking 6.6 .6 miles uh, to Belden where Taylor will pick us up. We'll go back to Quincy um, and figure out our next plans. Right now our thought process is skipping ahead to uh, Bernie or Shasta. So Belden will be at like 1290 something at miles. So a mile mark along the PCT, 1290 something. The um, road is, uh, the trail is close to 13, to Old Station, which is I think around 1370. Um, so we can skip to Bernie, which is around 1412, or um, to Mount Shasta, which is around 1500. Um, we don't know the best option yet. Still gotta, you know, evaluate and do more research because Bernie is would be the option that has less miles skipped, um, but that is closest to the northern border of the smoke, um, and this air quality is still really bad there. Um, mountain, I believe, or at least within 30 miles of it, the air quality is bad. Um, Shasta gives more space between the trail and the smoke, but more miles skip. That would be around 215 miles skip, 210 miles skip, something like that. Um, and also the hard part about this is going to be, um, how we skip ahead. Um, it will be completely reliant on trail angels um, because there is no public transport <laughs> leaving Quincy um, so from Quincy to Bernie is like two, hour, two hours and 15 minutes from Quincy to Mount Shasta is like three hours and 10 minutes uh, best we could find uh, I mean there's still there's probably other options maybe we haven't necessarily we haven't found yet um, but there is a bus that leaves from a town called Chico that can go to Mount Shasta. But Chico itself is an hour and 45 minutes away from Quincy. So no really good options. Um, fortunately, the Trail Angel community from Quincy is amazing. Um, and uh, they are awesome people to have to rely on. Um, and they know that there's going to be dozens of hikers who are needing to skip this section. Um, so we will figure something out it's just gonna delay our hike but then you know the upside to thinking about this delaying our hike is that we would be hiking those miles so we still will probably come out ahead um, in time wise by skipping those miles um, even if it takes a couple days to figure out how to get there um, but for now just enjoy the view uh, you can see the smoke way off in the distance settling down um, but this was the view that was completely smoky last night. 
um, and just hiking 6.6 miles and 4,000 feet downhill to the road. Trying to find some things to be positive about with having to get off trail. Um, we have less than a mile till where Taylor will meet us at the road. Um, the things I'm thinking about trying to be positive. By having to skip ahead miles, that means I will finish the trail sooner. I am unsure whether or not I would come back after finishing the trail to do the miles. Kind of just depends how many overall between now and Canada. How many miles I have to skip? I'd like to hike at least 2,000 miles, but we'll see. Um, so, good chance I'll finish the trail sooner. What else? Um, we, the next town that is in like 40 miles is, 45 miles is Chester. Um, Chester's currently having an outbreak of norovirus or some other GI disease um, that is affecting hikers and the town. And so we get to skip that. Um, and we get to go back and if we stay the night, stay the night again with Taylor and Rosalyn who were awesome, go to the brewery that we didn't get to go to, um, and enjoy another night in town. So those are some things to try to be positive about. an update I got a new hat at REI um, so what ended up happening we left Quincy this morning milkman knew someone from college in Reno Nevada um, an hour and a half away from Quincy he and his wife came to pick us up and drive us back to Reno we rented a car in Reno this morning or like at noon and we are now at the Redding California Airport which is where we drop off the car um, and then we're gonna, there's one other hiker who happened to be coming to Reading tonight who's gonna meet us here. And we're gonna take an Uber from the airport to Castle Craig State Park, which is where the trail um, is about 45 minutes away. So in total, it'll be about $100 per each of us for this workaround. Um, but that way we skip from Belden, which is right before mile 1300 to Shasta, Dunsmere, Castle Craig. Um, at 1502, I believe. So we will stay at the campground, Castle Craig campground tonight, probably. Um, not really go much further, just stay there tonight um, and then start hiking again tomorrow. So I am in my tent. Um, I think I said already, but we dropped the rental car off at the Reading Airport. Um, and then we actually got a trail angel. Sorry, there's something pokey in my tent. Um, we got a trail angel who drove us 45 minutes from the airport to Castle Craig State Park, which is right at the road on trail. Um, so we are camped here. I have my tent set up like always, and then Squirrel, Rock and Milkman, um, and that's the camp post right there. Uh, they have the site for PCT hikers. There's a second one across the way of three other hikers. Um, that's $5. $5 per hiker to camp here. There's free shower, bathroom. Um, we can charge electronics at the camp post, which I don't need right now, but um, we are right on trail. Well, it's technically a little side trail, but the trail is close to two miles and this is the new trail. So we're right on trail. So we'll get started in the morning, do a full day. Um, but yeah, we are here getting set up for camp. I'm excited to get back on trail. Um, there was a lot of smoke coming in on the drive um, and the air quality in Shasta. Um, 
and reading has decreased this morning the AQI was less than 50 right now it is above 100 um, hoping that'll decrease in the morning then we'll just keep hiking north and as we hike north the smoke quality will just keep getting the air quality will just keep getting better and better